What up, Epic Readers? I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel, Jesse the Reader, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, a series here on Epic Reads where we keep you in the know on all the recent YA book-to-movie and book-to-TV adaptation news. Happy January! Happy belated New Year! I always love the start of a new year because it means a year full of new books and new adaptations. A win-win situation if you ask me. We've got quite a few things to cover today, which makes me really excited, so without further ado, let's get started. Now we are starting this off with a bit of sad news, but I just want to get the sad news out of the way so we can move on to happy updates and we can just pretend this sad news didn't happen. Unfortunately the series Vampire Academy and One of Us is Lying have not been renewed, they have been cancelled. Vampire Academy had one season, One of Us is Lying had two seasons under its belt, and both adaptations were featured on the streaming platform Peacock. I feel like One of Us is Lying had a solid run, but the Vampire Academy news makes me sad. I feel like oftentimes with TV the first season is always pretty rough and it really needs that second season to get into a bit of a flow and to build into something great. I'm also just sad for you Vampire Academy fans because this is the second time you have gone through something like this, where you got an adaptation, in this case we had the movie and then it didn't get the follow-up, it didn't get the sequel film. And now we had our second shot and we're not getting a follow-up, we're not getting a second season. You all are in my thoughts, fellow readers. Now on to some happy news. We have a set release date for Shadow and Bone Season 2. We'll be returning to the Grishaverse on March 16th. The fact that that's not even that far away, let's go! Season 2 is set to be eight episodes, each of the episodes being roughly around one hour. It's like my heart is not ready, but I desperately need it. It feels so good to have a set release date, and I'm super excited because this also means that we are one step closer to getting that trailer, to getting that full glimpse of what's to come. Next up, the upcoming Disney Plus adaptation for Percy Jackson has finalized filming. Season one has completed filming, which has me feeling like we for sure will be getting this this year. Please be fall. Please be fall. Please be fall. I just feel like fall time would be a good time to release this, or maybe just Percy Jackson's birthday. Yeah, maybe that, which I know is more like summertime, August 18, just drop the full season. I think we'd all be satisfied with that. Anyone else feeling a Percy Jackson reread coming on? Next, it was announced that They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera will be getting an adaptation with Netflix. Bad Bunny is backing the project, which feels kind of random, but he is set to be a producer on it. Again, random, but I'm here for it. I feel like we've known for a while that this was coming, like I felt like we all knew at some point we'd be getting an adaptation for this, but it's finally happening and I couldn't be more excited. I feel like I could just picture this book as like a movie or a series while I was reading it, so I think it's just gonna work so well. If you don't know anything about They Both Die at the End, it basically takes place in a world where you get notified when you're gonna die. Imagine just getting a text message being like, bestie, it's time to die. Like, yikes. We follow two boys who meet on their last day and they end up spending the entirety of their last day together, living it to the fullest, despite knowing what's coming their way. Finally, we got a peek at the upcoming upcoming adaptation of Judy Bloom's Are You There God? It's Me, Margaret. This is an old school YA book, one that I've actually not read, but I watched the trailer and it made me want to read the book. It looks like it's super heartwarming, comedic, and it's very much so got that coming of age feel to it, so I'm super excited to read the book and then watch this film. That's all the news I have for you guys today. Be sure to let us know down below in the comments all your thoughts on today's episode. Are you excited for Shadow and Bone? When do you think we're going to be getting the Percy Jackson adaptation? And what are your thoughts on the They Both Die at the End? adaptation. Let us know all your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm super excited for another year of epic adaptations. I'm sure that there is a lot more news to come, and I will be here every month to keep you updated, so be sure to subscribe to the Epic Reads channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time with another episode of Epic Adaptations.